we obey. We're your orientation leaders. I'm Brendan. I'm Megan. I'm Liz. Oh. <laughs> I'm James. Yeah, yeah. I like it here. We're gonna do We're some tips finished. and tricks on how to survive. Yeah. Something important for your first semester at U of A is going to be Grubhub. This thing will save your life. All right, now here is the trick. 15 minutes before class ends, you place your order. Want to know why? Because it's going to take them 15, 20 minutes to make it, and you don't want to wait after you get out of class because you've been sitting there for like probably a three-hour stretch because you're a freshman and your schedule's awful. So you probably just had a three-hour stretch of classes, and you want to eat some food. So order 15 minutes before you get out of class just so you can get on time. Now, how are you going to pay for it? Well, Grubhub gives you a lot of options. You can use cat card, debit credit, or even mail plan. So literally anybody can use Grubhub, so you're set for anything. Now, where to eat? At the Union, there's a variety of options. You got Papa John's, which, if you, if you like Papa John's. Um, you got Chick-fil-A, you got On Deck Deli, you can make your own little sandwich, and that's pretty fun. You got Core, if you're a salad person. Uh, we got Panda Express, if you just want greasy Chinese food. We got, I mean, there's a lot of options, okay? So a lot of good places you can you know, have a variety of stuff every day. So you're set on there. Now, Wonderful Wednesday. Why is it Wonderful Wednesday? Well, because there is the farmer's market. The farmer's market is a beautiful place where they bring in actual food. Now, what do I mean by actual food? After a while, you start hating everything at the Union just because you've eaten there so much and you just want different food, please. So, Wednesday, Go to the little farmer's market, they got little like steamed buns, they got breakfast burritos, breakfast burritos are the most amazing thing in this world. They also got um, like, they have this really good strawberry lemonade I get all the time, it's just, it's wonderful, wonderful Wednesday. Now, let's say it's like 2 in the morning, you just happen to be out, what are you going to do? How the market's open 24-7, so I mean, if you need to, just don't get their burritos, their burritos are bad. Like the tortillas, at the, you know when you eat the end of a burrito and it's just like the butt of the burrito because it's just a bunch of tortilla and nothing else? It's like that but the whole time for some reason. I don't know why, but just Highland Market breakfast burritos are awful. Don't get them. So for food, just remember, Grubhub will save your life and Highland Market is open 24-7. provides a lot of social events around usually um, most of the events are provided and where they're laid out they're laid I can't they're laid out during like the first month of the semester so it's usually like gatherings where all the students from um, the different parts of campus can come together and they can eat they can play games there's music there's everything but usually there's like other stuff where you can personally like do on your own like there's Netflix and there's like other types of like shows and like stuff to do otherwise on your computer like just personally wise but um to keep in mind um if you are going to do fun stuff like that you have to prioritize and you have a lot of independence and by deadlines and everything um if a your professor says you have something due friday night i personally would rather wait until you're finished with that assignment and then there's limited amount of movies afterwards, but there's always going to be that one deadline that you have to finish your homework by. And also, um, there's so many restaurants around that um, it's just an easy five, three minute walk away from your dorm, wherever you live. And it's easier to like eat something that's considered junk food than to eat healthy. But I recommend um, going to the right because you are paying for it. And to also just um, choose like healthier options to eat and something. And if you have time, like a 30 minute break, just go to the gym or like do something that would be healthy for you and something positive instead of So I want to talk about Greek life. Um, coming from the East Coast, Greek life isn't something that was really big in any of the colleges. So I kind of had like a stigma against it. I know a lot of people think they know what Greek life's about from movies and just the bad things people say about it and I kind of believed all of that. but. My friends decided to go through recruitment, so I said, why not? And even just the first couple of days of rush week, I found out that a lot of those things aren't true. And when I did get into my sorority, I made some of my best friends that I already know I'm going to have for life. And besides the fact that you get to make a lot of friends, 
Greek Life provides you with a lot of job opportunities. We have people come present at our chapters from different businesses. It's mostly for business majors, but being in Greek Life still provides you with so many connections for after you graduate or even like internships during college and stuff like that. And aside from job opportunities, each sorority has and fraternity has a philanthropy, so you get to work with charities and do volunteer opportunities. And most of the sororities make you join a club too, which can seem a little frustrating having to do volunteering and a club and schoolwork, and if you want to have a job, but um, joining, in a joining a club helps you kind of time manage because you are doing a lot, but it helps you balance everything that you need to do because you know you have a time crunch. So. Even if you don't think you want to do Greek life, I would recommend jo like just going through recruitment and seeing what you think because even if you don't like it at the end, you can say, I don't want to do it and you don't have to join a sorority, but it's worth it to try. Okay, so um, basically what I'm going to talk about is uh, shopping and like the university, University Boulevard. Um, it's definitely very different than at home. like. The dorms are right near all the food and the shopping. Like, there's a lot of Mexican food here, like all around. There's restaurants. University Boulevard is like just a strip of shopping, and there's always it's always like a scene going on. Um, also, I'm in the Salt Center, which is for people with mild, mild to moderate learning disabilities, and it really helps with tutoring. They give you access to all these tutors. Um, just. You can, they have walk-in tutoring, like appointments. You, they give you all this like technology that you could use, um, counseling. It's just a really great thing, and it really helped with my success at the U of A, like as a student. So I'm going to be talking about professors. Um, so before coming to U of A, I personally thought that professors were going to be scary mean and like very unhelpful and someone that I couldn't go to because they'd be so busy. Um, but when I came to U of A, I was actually super, super like surprised that all my professors, they were willing to take time to help me specifically. And they also have office hours that you can go to. And I would definitely say if you're gonna do anything, take advantage of the office hours because that's time dedicated to you and to helping you <coughs> with your grade. And um, mostly professors, they, they're they super helpful in class and outside of class, you can always email them or you can find a way to um, schedule an appointment with them and talk about your grade or an assignment that you're confused about. And it's just super helpful to communicate with your professors and get to know them because they're actually really cool people.